Good morning guys, happy Friday. So I am gonna share with you very quickly um, in the beginning of this video, because this video may be kind of long, so I'll just warn you right now, but I'm gonna split it up though, so then those of you that wanna hear more of the chattier portion of this, it'll be at the end. So this first part, I'm gonna show you a little bit of happy mail that I received that really made my day. It really came on the perfect day. And then also, uh, I got an order from Western Bagel, never had those before, and I just finally bit the bullet to try them. So I wanna show you those. And then uh, my newest Amazon find, so I wanna show you that. So I'm gonna cut to that right now, and then we will be back to talk about the rest. Okay, so for those of you that have watched my What I Ate Wednesday video, you already saw this, but this is my newest Amazon find. I um, was just, I wanted a big salad bowl, and I really like the idea of them being in individual compartments so then like your almonds don't get all, you know, soggy with your lettuce and all that. So anyway, this is a really big bowl. I think it's 54 ounces. And then this just slides in on top, which this is really hard to get apart. That's my only thing I don't like about this. And I'm hoping after time it just gets easier and easier. I've only used it um, twice now. So and both times I had to have help opening it. But Anyway, so we have the two kind of smaller compartments here, bigger compartment here, a little dressing container, which also can be used for like croutons like I did if you don't use dressing. And then I didn't use the fork. I haven't used the fork yet, but the fork does go right in here and this little top opens up like that. Um, and then these little secure sides are so, I mean, it holds them down so tight and I always put my stuff sideways in my lunch bag and it did not leak at all. So highly recommend this product. I will put a link for it down in the description box. Like I said, I just randomly found it on Amazon, so I don't know if there's any better ones out there. This one was like $14.99, so it seemed a little bit high, but it was actually really comparable to some of the other ones that I saw on there. I actually bought a different one, and then I found this one. It was came under the um, other products that people bought or something after you hit the you know, buy button. And so I canceled my order really quick and got this one because this one was bigger and I just like the look of it better. So there's my newest Amazon find. Hi guys, so I just want to give a little shout out to one of my lovely subscribers who was very kind and generous to send me over a little Happy Meal package. And you guys, I want you, I, I really just want to give a shout out to her because I um, am just so impressed with her talent it is just amazing it just blew me away the whole family just loved it so her name is Kim Rhodes you guys may have seen her in my comment section she does comment all the time very positive and motivating comments which I love from all of you guys so much so here is um, her name and you can find her, find her on Facebook and Instagram I believe it's under Kim Rhodes fine art I will try to remember to put it here on the screen like her Instagram handle so um, and she just has this little this little pamphlet which is amazing so anyway here it is look at it and she uses what does she tell me oh she uses palette knives and oh my gosh look at this you guys I cannot wait to hang it up I told my husband I want to really think about it where I want to put it um, this weekend we're gonna hang it up but it is just amazing I can't even I don't even know how it's gonna show up on on camera but anyway I am just I'm just blown away it was just one of those days and I came home from work and found this and it was so great so let me show you the few other things that she sent over so she knows my love of pioneer woman which in her note she says she loves it too she gave me a note which is just always so sweet when I receive those and I save every note and card and stuff that I get from you guys um, so anyway so I got some pioneer kitchen towels which I just love the colors on this Pioneer Woman stuff. And look, polka dots. And then some measuring spoons, which is so funny that she got these because I pick these up almost every time I go to the Walmart. I pick them up and I'm like, uh, no, I don't need them. Uh, you know, it's like one of those things. So it's like she read my mind. And then also some mixing spoon or some spatulas. And one of these. I love it. And then... You guys, she got me a meal planner. This is one of the um, Carrie L meal planners. I have, see a lot of people use these. I just, just, I just can't even. I mean, it is just so 
Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So it has a little section here for resources, so favorite food blogs and recipe sites. And look, every single page is just so beautiful. We have a section for, is there anything? I haven't really looked through all of this. Okay, so we have measurement conversions, baking substitutions, and then we just have some plain, cup. oh no, that's just the next section, which is called inventory, which of course I need. Freezer inventories, so several pages of those. Pantry inventories, ooh, look, leopard. And then a spice inventory pages of that the next section is called a meal plan so we have the monthly layout here and then we have the weekly so we have the weekly meal plan and then a grocery list on this side and the grocery list does tear out that it's this is perforated here so it does tear out I will put a link to this down in the description box and I know there's several people several other youtubers around that have discount codes for this so you may look um, I will try to to link a couple of them that I know, like Shelly over at Shelly's Home Life, I'm pretty sure she has a discount code. Um, Leanne over at Grady's Mop, I know that they both of them do, and those are two YouTubers that I watch quite often. So um, anyway, you got a lot of you know weekly menu pages here for that month, and then you go to the next month, and they're undated, which means you can start using it any time, which I love undated stuff. So you get a month, and then you get one for each week of the month after that. So that's how that works through the whole rest of the book here that section here the next section is called gatherings so then this would be like for special events so like you know parties or like thanksgiving easter christmas that kind of thing so you can have place for your appetizers side dishes main course desserts drinks kids and supplies and then your grocery list so there's several pages of those as well and then you do have a section here for just notes. And there's a pocket. Oh yeah, there's a pocket on each side. So this is amazing. I will definitely start using this next week. I cannot wait, cannot wait. Oh my gosh, Kim, you are amazing. So then she got me this bag, which has some stuff in there. Oh, I already, I kept it open. Ah, oh, see, I thought I had. So I love this, this is so so adorable be great for just storing anything or for travel so she knows my love of planning so gonna make some pens and then these are just some stickers and more stickers I've never seen these ones are these ones new because it looks like these are from the same people as happy planner but I've never seen these ones and then we have some little labels more labels more labels and then pioneer woman magazine which I have yet to actually see at my I heard that Walmart carries it but I've not seen them at my Walmart so I am excited to see this and then here's her beautiful note and then lastly this is a bag from Vera Bradley and it's like Bath and Body Works stuff is inside of here so I did not open this one hold on so inside uh, there is some hand soap, Twisted Peppermint, which I, I think two years ago is when Twisted Peppermint came out, and I absolutely loved it. I actually think I still have some, I think I bought two of the body sprays, and I think I still have one in my stash. And then this is some body cream. So I absolutely love that. And then it came with this beautiful bag. Oh my gosh, it's so, so pretty. So this would be a great makeup bag. Love it. So Kim, thank you so much, especially for this beautiful painting. Just such a personal gift is, it, it just really warms my heart. It really does. I'm gonna put all of her information down below in the description box. And yeah, again, thank you guys so much for being so generous. And like I said, it just really just makes my heart so happy. It really, really does. And then here is the Western Bagel Order. I um, have never tried these before, but I see them on Instagram constantly. So I'm just, I finally just bit the bullet and thought, I'm just going to make an order. Um, I don't have a code, but I did use Kim from Overfit and Fabulous Mama. I used her code. Now I'm a little nervous though because my son tried one of these ones last night, the Alternative Pumpkin ba Bagelettes, and he said it tasted funny. <laughs> so... <laughs> And I've had one other person tell me that they didn't like them. So anyways, I got the pumpkin bagelettes. 
these are one smart point. I'm not a huge, huge fan of the two ingredient bagels. Um, I just don't think they taste enough like bagels for me, so that's why I wanted to just get a different alternative. I also got 10 of the wheat bagelettes, which I don't remember ordering those ones, but I guess I must have. And then um, these ones are really hard. These are the alternative bagels, and these are three smart points, and these are roasted onion. These are also a little bit smaller than I thought they would be, but I mean, they're not too bad, but they're really hard. So I'm hoping they soften up a little bit. And then these ones though, in contrast, are super soft and I feel like they're a little bit bigger. These are the perfect 10. These are also three smart points and these are the healthy grain. I'm hoping I find at least one out of this big bunch that I like and then I can just order them. They, I can't buy them in my stores here. So I can buy, like there's one type of Western bagel in my stores, but not like these lower um, point ones. So anyway, I got the healthy grain. And then um, I accidentally sliced this when I opened up the box. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> I got the five wheat bagels and these ones are really hard too. So I think it's the, um, and they were, I noticed that when I first opened the box, I got them last night. When I first opened the box, I noticed that these ones were hard and the roasted onions are hard and they're both the alternative bagels. So maybe that's just how they are. So anyway, those ones. And then I got some pitas and these are also three smart points. And these are really good size pitas. Um, I'd say they're about the same size as the Joseph pitas, maybe a slightly larger because they feel a lot heavier than the pack of Joseph's pitas when you buy them. Um, now you, and you get five, six, six in here, which I feel like that's what you get in the Joseph's one. I don't, but these are much heavier, so I'm guessing they're going to be probably closer to an actual pita than the Joseph's pitas. I don't know. I like the Joseph's pitas, but I'm going to try these ones. So I think I'm just going to throw those bagels in the freezer and just pull them out as I want to use them. So I don't know. I, I'm kind of nervous now when I got those ones and they are really kind of hard. So let me know if you guys have tried them. Are the alternative bagels just that way and you just have to toast them or put them in the microwave or something, heat them up in some way to make them softer? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Now the other ones, the Perfect 10 ones, seem very, very nice. So I'm kind of excited to try those ones. Now for everything else that has been going on, for those of you that have been watching me a while, you guys are very astute to notice that things have just been a little off. A lot have been doing mostly pre-recorded videos and the ones that I have done where I've you know, been face to face have been very short and um, I think when I did my vid update video last Friday, it was very difficult. I actually wasn't going to do it. It's very hard for me to... Um, not show my emotions and if I'm just not having a good day I really should just not be filming because I don't want I can't fake it like it's and a lot of you have noticed in the videos that I have been doing um, like most of October that I just haven't been myself and there's a reason for that and also it's kind of the reason why I haven't been doing very well I mean I think it's like yeah I lost a lot of weight last week or week before last when I did my last Friday check-in but that was because I gained seven pounds so you know but I lost the five of it very quickly and this week I maintained so just so if those of you want to know I did maintain this week which considering I feel very good about that there has been again a bunch of stress going on I am really bloated because tomorrow according to my app it's supposed to start for that time of the month so and I'm definitely feeling it yesterday and today a lot today so um, so I'm glad I maintained I am I, anytime I maintain I am fine with that um, when there's things going on so again, for those of you that have been watching me a while, I'll, some of this you guys know. And I'm not going to go into extreme detail, just what you guys need to know to understand. Um, so a lot of you know that my husband does have some, um, some issues that he has to see a doctor regularly for. And it's, it's some mental health stuff and he, um, a lot of it tends to be more depression side of it, but there's other issues that go along with it. And um, for and usually we you know it, it peaks it kind of has these hills and peaks and whatever that you guys I am so bad at saying so I know there's that saying out there that is kind of like up and down roller coaster that kind of thing and certain times of year it's worse than others and um, 
usually we're going into probably what is the worst time of year for people who suffer from what he suffers from and but for some reason it's been kind of off since may it actually started right around memorial day weekend and i believe it's i did a video right around then kind of talking about it and we you know his doctor made some adjustments to his medication and everything seemed to be going really well actually all the way up until towards the beginning of october and we didn't know if it was just stress with his work if it was his medication what it was it was it just all of a sudden hit him beginning of october and it was just causing just a lot it's hard because I don't know I can't I can't know what he's feeling and he doesn't know what I'm feeling on the other side because it's it's hard for those to help the ones that are suffering but then on the other it's hard for him to try to make me understand how he's feeling so it's it's really difficult and you know so he didn't work a lot in the month of October because he's having to see doctors and um, just the stress and he just had to take some days off just to you know he had a very he had a small wreck at work um, it was very slippery and it had been raining and a lot of those logging roads that they're on um, are very treacherous and luckily he was on like a flat part but he had a very small wreck and it just kind of it just kind of threw him and he ended up having to take some time off after that and also just weather issues he's been off so it's been causing you know financial stresses as well as just you know just regular just you know what are we gonna do we need to figure out what's going on with you type thing so he went to his doctor um, well no backtrack a little bit so we started thinking he started having some physical stuff going on and we couldn't figure out what it was I mean he pretty much does not eat at all he has this huge loss of appetite um, he um, has tremors already from some of the medication he takes we think we don't know the doctor has already tested him for like Parkinson's and things like that and it's not that but it's worse than what m the medication he's taking he's taking like three of his like medications he's taking their side effects are tremors and it's gotten worse and worse and worse and even his um, psychiatrist was like this is not normal like these are not n these kind of the tremors are normal but the severity of your tremors are not normal and so he wanted to watch him until he came to the doctor in November. So, um, to watch the clock, sorry. So anyway, um, he wanted to watch him and then when he'd come in for his November appointment, they would kind of talk about it some more. But beside, between the, the shaking and the loss of appetite, he was having like some breathing issues, like where he would just get really short of breath really easily and doing the same stuff he does all the time you know nothing exertion or at all i mean sometimes just bending over to put on his shoes i don't remember what some of the other stuff that was going on anyway i was trying to think back i'm like okay when did all these extra symptoms start and it was i pin, was able to pinpoint it because it was right after he had that accident he had taken some days off and he had gone um gotten his test results from his doctor and the test results came because he had taken a day off to go get his lab work and stuff done. He came back to work. He had that little accident at work. And then he um, ended up taking a couple days off and he got his test results back. And um, the test results that came back was with his cholesterol and stuff. So she put him on a higher dosage of his cholesterol medication. He was ta already had been taking another one. And that one... So I pinpointed it back to him like, you know what? I pinpointed it all back. So I looked up at that medication, which is a pretty common one. And I looked it up and every single one of his side effects was on that list. I had no clue how a cholesterol medication could cause somebody to have shortness of breath. He, um, so he got his test results back. I don't know, so he's on that medication. So I told him, well, he called his doctor his primary care physician. Now this is a separate doctor than his like psychiatrist. So he called his primary care physician. He already actually already had called her and told her of the issues he was having and he wanted to make an appointment. So they set him up for November 20th. Well then when that's what the only the first appointment they had, well they had since the breathing issues and stuff like that, they kind of so the nurse went to ask the doctor, should we bump somebody or whatever? Because, you know, breathing is always, you know, kind of a scary thing. And so they you know heart issues and that and whatnot. And that's what we were thinking it was. 
and so he, um, they had called back, but he was at work to set up the appointment that day, but he was at work already. But he told them about the what I found online, and so she went and told the, the doctor, and she called him back and said, the doctor said, stop taking that medication right away. And he already had. I mean, we he stopped it as soon as I called him that day, so he already had been off of it for two days. But the doctor was like, yes, do not take that medication anymore, and I want you to come in on the 20th. Let's just, that way it'll give you about three weeks that you'll be off of the medication, and we'll see how you're feeling. Well, it was only within like less than a week that he started noticing a difference. Most of the symptoms, with the exception of the loss of appetite, have gone away. Um, the loss of appetite is still there. So he went to a psychiatrist, his regular appointment on November 6th, and he is still concerned there's some kind of medical issue going on. Um, but also he's concerned why is the depression part of his illness coming back so often? The doctor is kind of concerned that there's something off with his medication and he's thinking of taking him off of one of them and replacing with another. It makes me nervous because the one he wants to take him off of is one that I feel like is the most important one just from the letter. I mean, I know I'm not a doctor. I'm not trying to pretend to be one and we will do whatever the doctor says. But having, you know, just researched his illness, I feel like this is like the medication that everybody takes that they have most success with and it makes me nervous and also I know there can be some side effects of being taken off of it and getting adjusted to the new medication. So it makes me very nervous. I've been very, very anxious about that and we won't know until the 20th because so then what well so what the doctor said was we're also going to run a blood test because he thought that also some of the symptoms seem to be maybe related to his thyroid and his thyroid test they always do a thyroid test because one of his medications he takes um, can make your thyroid not function properly and so he always runs a thyroid test every time he runs his test because also one of the medications is so crazy how a medication that's supposed to help you can also cause other things not to work so one of them also can cause liver damage so he runs panels like pretty much every three months he runs panels on him just to make sure that everything's functioning okay and that's when he goes to the doctor every three months so um he went ahead and run just a thyroid test only just a um, the full, you know, thyroid panel. Well, this time it was off enough for him to prescribe him the smallest amount available in the thyroid medication. So I'm really hoping because I was looking at all the symptoms of thyroid. I only knew my personal symptoms of thyroid disease. And I, when I looked up the full symptoms and I, cause he was telling me, he goes, well, he was asking me about like muscle weakness. He was asking him all the things and I was like, really, that's a symptom of it. So I looked up all the symptoms and sure enough, a lot of it is symptoms of thyroid. And he, so he is off enough for them to prescribe a medication. Well, I know from personal um, experience that it does take about a week sometimes for it to sometimes two weeks for some people who are brand new to notice the effects. And so, he will be on it a week. I think I picked it up Saturday, so I don't know. Maybe he's been on it for seven days, probably Saturday, I think, possibly. Um, but ever since he took stopped taking the cholesterol pill, though, his other symptoms have cleared up. But these ones have not cleared up yet. But I told him, I said, it hasn't been long enough, I don't think. But I think that's... So then his psychiatrist said, well, I want you to see your, your primary care physician. Let's talk about these physical problems. Let's make sure it's something not more than just the thyroid. So he goes in to see her the 20th already. So then the psychiatrist said, well, why Because they're in the same office. It's like a huge clinic. It's around the same time so we can check your see how you're feeling after you've been on this thyroid medication for a few weeks. So he happened to get a doctor's appointment the same day as his primary care with his psychiatrist, which is good because we want to take time off work. Well, it's the week of Thanksgiving, which another thing, all the lo the mills around here are closed on, uh, they decide to take the entire week off. So he'll be off work that entire week. So we'll have to get our one week of unemployment waiting weekend because his unemployment claim has expired. But you got to wait, you're, get your waiting weekend one point. So that's what we're going to do the week of Thanksgiving. So he sees both of his doctors on November 20th. And I'm hoping we find, we. I know, I know logically that we're not going to find anything out that day. Now I'm hoping that it, a lot of it's just the thyroid and um, a lot of his stuff will be cleared up. Now the loss of appetite, I, that's not, I don't think that's related to the thyroid because that's another thing I ever had. I didn't see it in any of the symptoms. Um, so 
We don't know what that is, but I know logically that his primary care physician is probably going to want to order some tests, and I think they still want to do some heart tests because a lot of the symptoms do maybe trigger like heart, some kind of heart problems. And so anyway, so that's been my October and why things have just been it's just, you know, I had all that stuff going on at work and I thought in my head that that was just all of what it was going on. But then we would have these times when a lot of these um, episodes would peak with my husband and then um, it would go away in a few days. So it would kind of just, it was in the moment, it was very tough and very hard, but then it would be okay the rest of the week. And so, uh, I don't know. I don't know, just the fact that I am just trying to maintain as much as I can my my sanity, my weight loss. Um, I'm just trying to get through it. And I, you know, that's why it's just been so hard for me. And even though I have not gone off the rails by no means, I, I haven't been trying as hard as I need to be. And that's why those five perfect days, it was, it was just such the right time for me to do that. And I think I need to still be in that mindset every week. I think I need to look at my Sunday through Friday as like kind of a five perfect day challenge because it seems to be the only thing if I have that focus. I think just right now, I can't just do everyday life. I can't just say, okay, you know, this is how I want, because basically this is how I want to eat for the rest of my life. I want to just be healthy. I want to make healthy, mindful choices. I want to add exercise in. I want to drink my water. Though that's how I want to be. I want it to be natural for me. And for the most part, it is a lot of times, but then I have these things that trigger other things. And when I'm going through, when I'm going through something like this, it's just so easy just to let it all go. I think just in general, it's just my body, the way my body reacts to the stress. So I think by doing that five perfect day challenge, even though it was in the middle of one of the most stressful weeks ever, because a lot of the stuff was just going on during that week, and um but having that focus i knew i had to accomplish those things and the fact that i accomplished them it made me feel just that much better every day so i don't know i i'm just hoping to get through the holidays the holidays is one of my favorite times of the year but it's just unfortunate it's one of his hardest hardest times of the year and so it's just a balance and trying to get things to be balanced and and all that so so anyway, um, I'm just going to follow my rules that I place on myself around the holidays, you know, things that I need to watch out for, you know, there's so many triggers around the holidays. It can be difficult in just normal situations and then when there's other things, outside things, you know, trying to get in, it's even harder. So I think I'm going to be okay. We're going to be okay. It's just we're going to make it. Um, it it's just... It's just getting over all these hurdles and that's just part of life. And I feel like on the other side, it just makes you stronger. And I think eventually we're gonna figure all this out. I'm just glad that we're just getting him to the doctor and we're gonna find out what it is. So just wanted to give you guys a little update. I appreciate um, everybody who has kind of reached out to me and asked you know, where I've been and why I'm not doing any vlogs. And I plan on bringing all that back and I will have more time when I'm off work in December. And I plan on do vlogging, vlogging a lot more. I have some exciting recipes that I have been coming up with. Um, and I'm really excited about those. And um, it's just gonna be, it's gonna be a good time. So don't worry about me, I am here. And like I said, I plan on doing more vlogging and I will be around. I will let you guys know, of course, you know, what we hear and what we find out. So that is my, what has been going on. And I hope you like the little hauls that I showed you. And um, let me know how you guys are all doing. I am still doing the mini challenges. I'm doing really well with that. Again, like I said, when I have a challenge, it, gets, it makes me really want to do it. I did my crunches and my um, squats today. And I think tomorrow is the hardest one for me only eat when I'm hungry Saturdays are really hard for me on that it's like during my feeding time like with my intermittent fasting it's like I tend to just like eat a ton and just whatever I want and not definitely not when I'm hungry so tomorrow will be great um so I will have a grocery haul up tomorrow and then Sunday I will have my meal prep and then Monday I have a nice collab video going up which I think you guys will really like and then just back to normal the rest of the week. So I will probably vlog on Monday and then it'll be up on Tuesday. So 
anyway, I got to go. I got to get my coffee made and my dog out, and it's already 10 to 7, so I got to get moving, and I will talk to you guys in grocery haul tomorrow. Bye, guys. We get lost, we can get high Because we can't, I feel alive Anywhere, anyway, I will love